demonetization from heaven back with another video uh starting out with shout out to everybody that's been watching some of the videos i put out i put out a dokkan video people mess with that put out the easy um crocs which everybody liked that it seemed like i am intent on going for more hype shoes however i gotta get my capital back up uh, been throwing money into the stock game recently and Trying to see how that goes for a minute, but, um, I need a job. Uh, anyway, Jajolian Chapter 99, um, I'm going to take the gum out for this one. So, Chapter 99, right, the one before 100. Uh, I don't remember Chapter 99 of Part 7, 6, 5, or 4, but, um, <laughs> I, I would imagine that a Rocky is someone that likes milestone numbers. And 99 is very big. The hundreds supposedly would likely be bigger. Uh, but, you know, you would think that, uh, hold on, let me switch over to the AirPods. All right, let me see. Um, sounds like everything's still coming through well. Okay. Um, shit in my brother's room, shout out to my brother. Um, 90 is really, really big, right? Uh, 99. Directionally speaking, should be bigger. I mean, when you look at the events that transpired in 98, 99 should be bigger. 100 should be probably the pinnacle. Uh, cause are we... I don't know if we're still... Yeah, we're still in Endless Calamity. I imagine we'd probably stay... Oh, my God. Why did I use this, bro? I should use a different site. I don't know why I use this one. This is my first time ever using this site. It's just nothing but, like, ads and, and viruses, not... Corona, but something equivalent. Rock humans, what they are is okay. Is that a Holly? Wait, hold up. <laughs> Look at this. That's Bruce. Uh, that's Prince. Um, that was like a geisha. That's um. That's a uh, Hermes Costello. Is it not? That's Hermes Costello, I believe. Rock human females are. That's not. That's not Prince because he's a woman. That's Joan of Arc. That's a uh, Cleopatra. Is that Shade? Sade? Ch Chade? Is that you pronounce? I've never pronounced Shade out loud before. I don't know who that is. I believe that's Holly Joe Star Kira. I'm pretty sure it might be. Might be somebody else, but I think that's Holly Joe Star. Hermes Costello. That's really interesting. Uh, human. <laughs> What am I doing? Rock human females are virtually indistinguishable, visually indistinguishable for f from human homo sapien women. It is possible for human males to inseminate and reproduce with rock women, but there are no examples of the opposite. Well, that's because it would be a rock penis. Never mind. I mean, I don't, I'm already going to demonetize. It'd be a rock penis in a, in a rock Anyway, man, Rocky, <laughs> what am I talking about? Rocky men mothers give birth in the spring and summer season and care of the fetus for six months. However, they, they rarely, if ever, have affection for an, or a parental relationship with the child. Soon after the mothers give birth, they bring their child with them deep into the forest. They're the geisha chick. They then look for the roots of a dead tree. Are they going to say that uh, Toru is a rock baby? Place the child there, then leave. All without wrapping the child in a cloth or a fur or such a thing. They're like, um... Uh, there's a certain type of animal that's very known for just, like, dropping their kids up, keeping them moving. Like, they bury their kid into... You know, it's, they're, they're that... They're, they're a shitty parent. They're Goku, basically. That is the one and only show of love and motherhood to their child. If left alone, a child would not be able to get nutrition and before that is found by another animal, it would be killed in moments. Okay, where's she taking this? But what approaches this child first at the base of the dead tree in the forest is insects. Insects are very big in this series. A newborn rock human child has an average body length of 28 millimeters and a weight of 15 grams. There are carnivores among the insects that approach the child. In short order, Asian giant hornets and Japanese yellow hornets. Uh, I believe Japanese hornets are a thing that came over to America recently. So it's very topical that... Uh, Fucking Iraqi would. This baby is the size of a of a beetle. It looks like. What the hell? 
The fierce and aggressive hornets will attack their stingers and mandibles and tear the child into pieces. But this was like um an arrow, like the arrow from part five. The rock human child knows that by instinct. In fact, they desire it. Okay. Hornet is coming in. Baby grabs the hornet. As if clinging to a mother's breast in her maternity, as if seeking love, they slip their way just past the stitting stinger and reach out their hands. Then this make or bore <laughs> dodging the mandibles. What the fuck? Is he going to eat the, the damn thing? And I don't know what to do with the child clinging onto his blind spot. The wasp is left with nothing, with no choice but to return to his hive. The rock human child knows of this instinctively as well. It also knows that wasps use the pheromones to gather commerce and create wasp societies. During this flood to the... And rolls his body around in the hive. What the hell is happening right now? What is Rocky doing? Until it finds the queen, the mothers among mothers. The child reaches his hand out and searches out a soft portion of the surface of the queen's body and clinging, biting, and crawling. Takes over her body while it's still alive. What the f- Do you just see that? Fucking baby window. All right, I may splice this audio and use it um, on Spotify. If you aren't reading this chapter with me, I'm on chapter. I'm on page nine. The baby has just went inside of the queen hornet. It is a baby. Oh my god. Um I don't know. This is how the rock human child um it finds a warm sleep safe place to the doctor. Seventeen years inside the bodies of multiple generations of queens. Then while fits we inside of the society of the hive learns from his own. With the laws of nature, the flow of time, the concept of numbers, it dreams and waits impatiently for seventeen years to go by, when it will abruptly abruptly just all for once go from baby to man grow in stature kill all of the wasps and venture to the outside world is this I don't know how my reaction looks on this but I hope it reflects what I'm feeling because I'm feeling very disturbed about what I'm seeing what I'm reading right now Life, life first. Oh my God! What is this shit? Man? I don't know if I just don't feel good, but this is weirding me out. Uh, this I've I've followed every part. I've read half of the total amount of parts available. I don't know what is what is this? What is this? Life first came about four billion years ago. The control towers of life called neurons are cells that bonded and evolved based on the element carbon C. At the same time, life cells that bound it from silicon were born. And while there are only a few in number and percentage of living cells, the silicon-based cells is this it, along with the carbon-type organisms as if hiding next to them. The creatures whose bodies that are formed by those cells are called rock organisms. So they're formed... Life cells are bonded from silicon. So they're saying humans bonded or most organisms bonded from carbon but these bonded from silicon <sighs> why did a creator give life to these two paths most likely rather than some kind of opposing relationship like a shadow for light or positive and negative it's the role of a fallback then the 
They're saying that, that, that God in this universe had a plan B. Insurance for in case the system of life itself failed. If the first path of carbon-based life came to a dead end, it was a fall back. A second path. Wow. That is the role that rock human serves. This is like um some kind of like FMA OG homunculus situation where the homunculi want to be the dominant people. Um, or just, I mean, I guess that prints in a lot of different TVs and movies, but essentially, it's like the um, also like the Quincy's and um, and Bleach. The forgotten people want to become the dominant people. AI technology and most futuristic movies, most dystopian future. What the fuck? Rock human actions are fundamentally independent. They have no families. But sometimes to their advantage, they reform groups and slip into human societies, as we've seen. But this is nothing beyond give and take relationship. There is no love or friendship between them. I guess you could probably tell it at this point. Uh, rock humans have a fascination with ground, rock, and stone. See blessings from the earth as true benefits and make special places that give rock humans special power as their true homes. Is this a part of seven reference? I feel like it is. Consequently... It just gets more and more zoomed out. Bearing in mind humans' ecological behavior to spread and migrate across the continent and continuing to migrate to this day, there is no chance of forming a relationship of mutual recognition between them, recognition, between them and Farak humans, nor any chance that they assimilate. And it is a part seven reference. Okay. Um, I figured it would be, and it appeared to be. Uh, we get to see Johnny Joe Star. Gyro Joe Star, that monstrous Sandman motherfucker. Um, we see the Devil's Palm, I believe this is called. That is a. Uh, is that uh, Stephen Steele's wife? I forgot. Or is that Yasuho? I forgot. I think it's Yasuho, I believe. The Speedwagon logo. Didn't scan in a minute. The Ground of Morio. Is that Inuyama? That's the mask. That's Dio. No, no. Wait, what? It's the arrow. What? Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. Okay, okay, hold on. Uh, <laughs> whoa. Uh, so, Rocky is linking this whole rock organism thing <laughs> to part to the universe we want, to the first universe. That's Dio. That's the rock mask. That's Inuyama. That's the arrow. Whoa. <laughs> okay. Um, holy shit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Araki's good at writing. <laughs> He's very good at writing. Um, I don't know. Is that like Mao Zedong or something like that? I don't know who that is. My deepest sympathies. I'm really sorry, Raikun. My condolences. I am um, your father's a very good man. He's so good to us. I like to offer my condolences to your mother as well. Raikun, where may I find her? In the inner room, she's resting right now. She's feeling a will. I see what this really is. <laughs> they're trying to like, solicit this man to get his. Uh... That's a. Uh, is that Norisuke? Is the reception? Is it Norisuke son? Raikun, I'm saying he's Norisuke, but my father's pure worker. So, is this how he became to the estate? The pears my father grew in his orchard were very real raised, but the insects messed them up. I don't believe it, but those insects let me insects. Are these the rock insects? By chance? What is that? What am I looking at? This is one of those moments in the in a rocky chapter where you just don't know what you're looking at. I never came to farm produce. Nor Suke being an idiot sounds like again. Yeah, if there were some insects or disease, it was for the dude. This dude doesn't believe anything he can't see. He's a fucking Denver anti vassar at this point. There's a landslide, a natural calamity. Oof. So the fatherly that were in the state when Yoshikage um, and. Was it, was it, 
what's the other guy's name? It was it was it Josuke? Was his name Josuke? I think his name was Josuke, wasn't it? Or no, it was something else. I can't fucking goddamn. I gotta I gotta see what his name was. Yoshikage Part. I'm I'm sorry. This this not gonna be the editing because I can't like. I have the I have I move in the other one, so I, I don't know what to say. Joseph Fume Kujo. That's what his name. Joseph Fume. I forgot his name. Joseph. It's been like a year, right? That's what I've read. Joseph Fume's name. Joseph Fume Kujo and Yoshikage Kira. Josuke Higashikata. Uh, Josuke's name was a dog. Is that the rock dude? Or is that somebody else? It looks like the rock dude. It's not. I don't think it's Satoru. Uh, Norisuke is not that attending that person with the white hair. That's a rock person. I don't know who it is, but I know that's a rock person. Uh, are they acquaintance with my father? I'm not sure who that is. I've never seen it before either. By the way, Rye, I think it's likely the pear orchid will be a challenge. I'm wearing much of mother's health as well, but for sure. He's up here due to the funeral. Ryan, Ryan's very acute, it looks like. That's a Toru, isn't it? Yeah, it is a Toru. Okay. The hair the hair pattern made sense. Uh, Is that Mama Zuku Rai? Mama Zuku Rai! Am I an idiot? Rai, Rai-san. rai Kun. Mamazuku Rai, friends of Norisuke. I it, I don't know why I didn't. The, the hair, it, it never appealed to me before right now, this very moment. Um, but yeah, that's Satoru Akifu. He was there even then, making sure that Mamazuku's going to attack him after this, isn't he? Because he just realized that. Mm, this is fucking something else this chapter is something i usually get to these things like within 15 minutes this might be a 30 minute chapter dog where are we at right now 17 minutes yo we're just only at 23 we might be here for a minute dog it couldn't be the new rokakaha branch is yes so he's realizing that toru is the same motherfucker that probably killed his father uh the time for natural calamity the time for the harvest is nearly here it's doing just fine The new Rokakaka is moving from where it is now to where I am. I guess he's referring to Josku, uh, Joshu moving it physically. The flow is carrying, it's not a flow. It is not in a flow where you can obtain it. Is he going to start talking about destiny and time? Or are going to have like, we're going to have King Crimson come in and like just drop it in his hands or some shit like that. The flow is that you will get up from that chair at a certain you will stand to pursue me. I am wonder of you. And the flow is always a calamity. Is so his stand name is the wonder of you? The flow is always a calamity. This is very reminiscent of, of time and, and destiny, which I mean I guess is things you're gonna see in most Iraqi um parts, but so he's bringing the destiny and time aspect back in again. It meant more destiny and fate than it is time. But I don't know. Maybe one review like stop time and like smack Joshi up and grab it, and then like like a Joshi like use like Nut King call <laughs> over heaven and like just reverses. <laughs> nah, stop it. Um, <laughs> the insect thing that turns into a fucking BDSM trap uh it is the same as before here it comes um it is coming to attack they might pursue josuke is still in that same chair not yet moved satoru slash wonder of you is still looking bubble pop bubble the insect thing this same thing was in that panel a couple while ago a couple while ago a few pages ago that Mamazuku was talking about uh it's an insect, it's an organism, it's a rock organism, it appears. Mm, dude, what is this? This is gonna be hell to animate. Like whoever has to animate part eight in twenty sixty seven. This is going to be fucking horrible, bro. 
So it attacks. Does it like anti rock him, or does it like? I don't. I don't know what happens here. It like it looks like it affects where he was initially healed at by the rock. The rock I All right, stop. Take him back. There we go. Mamazuku saves the day. Joe's kiss. Okay, come on, man. Are we going to do this every time, man? It's poison. Did Mamazuku save himself or sacrifice himself to save him? If you're stabbed and try to escape upwards, you'll cough up as besto. As bestos. If you're stabbed and try to escape upwards. Oh man, is this a take on a on a green Green Day, chocolate and Green Day? Oh man, and they they can't touch the ground. Be oh man, this dude a Rocky something else. And this is the same thing I assume that was used to kill his father. Wow, this is interesting. It's not being stabbed and escaping upwards. It's being stabbed and stretching out your limbs. If you try to escape or extend your joints, every hole in your body will spew out asbestos. Do, 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 de, da, da, da. It's a hunter of mountainous regions. It hunts and eats rabbits and birds from the ground. And those tend to jump to escape, don't they? Okay, so I mean, it's reasonable to say that part seven um took in parts of part one and, and and two and some influence from three i guess a little bit very minimal but primarily one and two two being a primary basis one being influenced a little bit you would think that with that um this is supposed to take a lot of influences from three and, and four and and this is now five it's taking parts of five so if there's a six, if there's a nine, you would, I guess, anyway, we're talking about something that doesn't even matter. Uh, <laughs> but this is a part five concept. When plants, branches, and fruit that are injured stretch out, they spew asbestos. They appear to be a disease. Mamazuku Rai, I remember a time where I, when I passed by you some time ago, that pear orchard was quite good land since long ago. And he confirmed the theory. Back then, your father simply caught in the flow of calamity wonder of you i was about the old times bring tears in my eyes and so he died in the landslide that's all there is to it i don't understand how things get caught in the flow of time like was he pursuing the head doctor is that how it happened i don't get it there is nothing at all you have permission to possess be it a pear orchard or a single new rokakaka josuke has climbed up it's melting to the surface of the disc. That's a pretty weak ending. But, uh, <laughs> wow. That's a lot. Um, <laughs> that's a lot. That's a lot. Let's just read the, uh, <laughs> wow. So I'm reading the wiki right now in chapter 99. Uh, and we're talking about the Asian horns right now. And, you know, the first part of this all displaying basically Toru's upbringing. Uh, he had a rock human mom. He had a real human being as a dad. And it led to what we got, Toru. Second part, we get references to... Morio, Part 8 Morio, The Devil's Pawn, Dio, Inayaba. Uh, that's the third part. We see Mamizuku talk to Norisuke Higashikata. 
After hugging for a moment, Rai tells Norisuke about his father's parrot worker. The young brother, or young boy, insists that the parrots were raised well, but the strange insects, wink wink, devoured the fruits and that he even saw one. However, Norisuke refuses to because he's an idiot, as he and others check the orchards and found nothing. Moreover, Norisuke tells Rai the landslide that killed his father was simply a natural calamity, wink wink. Um, and Rhino is a man in a crowd he's never seen, nor does Norisuke recognize his face in a way. However, Rai's other duties to attend to for the moment. <sighs> Wonder of you. Do, do, do. D, da, da, da. A dark determination of Rye. Is that the is that the um uh, is that a new is this like a new kanji? What is what is I've never heard of that before, dark determination. An antithesis of the golden spirit, dark determination is a particular state of mind with during which one's re <laughs> resolve and intent to kill rise to the surface. The term is coined by Ringo Road again and is described as gyros. It's describe a driver's once willing to murder that hesitation to throw away humanity. I don't think he had this very often. I mean, he, never, he didn't even have it against a uh, funny Valentine. Small flames bringing their irises. See, I knew I saw that, that flame. I knew that was a thing. I mean, I saw it. I just didn't know what. I didn't know there was a term for that. <laughs> Dark determination. Wow. This is just so deep. You know, you gotta, you gotta, if you love multi layered works of art, I, I mean, it doesn't get more deep than, than this. I mean, this is as deep as it gets. I mean, Rocky, man, he... Rocky is still laying in new shit to a series that probably has, like, less than 15 chapters left, if that. I mean, deep shit, like, world-thinking shit. Look, look at this. Read this right here. If you're on YouTube, you can read this. If you're listening, read this right here. This chapter by Rock Hawk. This chapter just set a new world record for what the fuck I am reading. Araki by Nitar Nitorari. Araki may or may not have just linked the entirety of the JoJo universe, and here's what's important, both the base universe and the SBR verse through one single race of beings. Actually going into detail about how rock humans could be a fallback plan for God in case carbon-based life forms fail, which explicitly showed showing the hallmark items of the previous trilogies and the current duology the stone mask, the arrow, and the holy corpse. Something tells me it could be in some real crazy shit for the finale of part eight, like made in heaven type shit. That's a pretty good way to summarize it. This guy, oh my god. I only just finished watching Golden Wind and Dark Diamond is Unbreakable, both my only experiences in the Jota universe. So he hasn't watched any of the first trilogy, and then he hasn't read seven, or even six. Yeah, I saw this thread thinking I should see a glimpse of Jojolian to consider. He hasn't read any of the more of anything else of Jojolian. And I welcome to this. Can you imagine what a man can do now? The, the end of Jojolian. Jesus. That's the end of Evangelion reference. Uh, yes, yeah, if you think about it, the, st the MacGuffins for all of Jojolio, Jojo, were freaking rock related, ground related things. Araki, you madman. Stone mass made by Pillar Man, stunned arrows made from a meteorite, the corpse changing the shape of the earth around it, rock humans. This dude has linked a universe that for about almost two decades, I want to say give or take, has been explicitly thought to have no correlation whatsoever outside of veined references to the original universe. To just put this in scale, this would be like 
if you took like Dragon Ball Super Broly, no Dragon Ball Z Broly, and then you had him come in from like Universe Five or some universe that hasn't been shown, and say that that Broly that got killed in that universe against those Goku's fought against this Broly, but indirectly. They were in the same universe the whole time. <laughs> they came from the same universe. I don't know. I, I don't know. I really don't know what to say. I don't know if there's any equivalent. I don't know any equivalent to what I'm reading right now. Uh, it's, it's truly, I don't know. Mm. You got the version of Green Day too. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, okay. Wait, hold up. I'm going to link this Reddit to where I post this at because um, you need to read this entire chapter. I don't know. I, I really don't think that I can <laughs> that I can go through all of this. Um, I mean, this is a, what thirty two minutes. This is thirty two minutes. I, it would take me an hour to kind of conceive of of what I'm reading. I don't. I have a headache. Um. I don't think I can possibly do all this in one video. I, I don't know what I'm... I'm going to watch some videos. I'm going to do some reading. Uh, I'm going to put a podcast up. Going over what I'm looking at here. Uh... I don't know when that'll come out, but I'll like maybe put a community tab uh, on on YouTube. So subscribe if you want to hear that podcast. Um, I'll try to summarize these tabs here and maybe find an underlying like link. Um, Xforts. I will go watch this video on this if you just wanted a more succinct and. Uh, Probably thorough explanation, even if there's less time, probably still more thorough in my explanation. <sighs> yeah. Even if I could crop this video, I wouldn't because you need to see exactly how perturbed I am right now. He linked. He linked concepts that came out around the 1990s to a new concept that came out in 2020. He spanned 30 years of real life time, about one half of his own life. He spanned that to connect and I mean, it's not like the most amazing connection. Like, it's, it's like perfectly fit. It's more of like kind of like some jagged. I, I want to say coincidence because it's a little bit higher than coincidences, but it's not at the same time. It's not like perfect fitting connections. But it is well done enough if you followed every part that it makes sense. It can it can fit. 
it's not like a half-ass just retcon. And it, it's not a retcon in any sense. I mean, it still lets everything that happened in the first half or the first universe exist, but... That's amazing. This is one of the greatest chapters of anything I've read. It's amazing right now where, where manga is at. Uh, Attack on Titan for the past half year. That's produced some of the best chapters in anime history. Maybe not some of the more recent ones, but definitely in the past half year. Uh, or I guess more like past nine months. Whenever chapter one... 19 to 123 came out. That'd be about late last year to early this year. Um, I, I was supposed to read that. I was supposed to read chapter 129. Uh, I watched, I've read like loose translations on it, but I never came back to that official video or anything. But I can't do that right now. I'm tired. Dragon Ball Super. Some of the best chapter of Dragon Ball Super. Is, some of the best content Dragon Ball Super has had come out ever period and that's happened but some of these Jojolian chapters bro they're different they're built different they're born different my body different hope you enjoyed the this this